Well, Maryland lawmakers are rolling up their sleeves and getting to work in Annapolis, and veterans are on their mind early in the 90-day session. Lawmakers are proposing bills that give relief to spouses of veterans. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison was in Annapolis and has more. Veterans and their contributions are well entrenched in our state's history. The United States Naval Academy, Fort Meade, and all the supporting veteran organizations in Maryland are proof of that. You know, we understand the shoulders that we're standing on, and so we appreciate your service and commitment to the people of this state. This week, Governor Westmore, a veteran himself, held a roundtable to discuss with veterans their concerns in our state. Some of the early bills focus on tax breaks for veterans who retire here. Lawmakers are expanding the benefits to others in the family that will require the Department of Veterans Affairs to bury the eligible spouses of veterans in a state veterans cemetery without charge. Not just the, the uh, veteran themselves, but their spouse is taken care of. Senator Johnny Ray Sollings is one of the sponsors of the bill and knows so many veterans work and live in Maryland, and he wants to keep it that way. There's a lot of things that we would like to do to make sure our veterans don't leave the state like tax credits and tax breaks uh, from the state, um, finding ways for a property tax. Um, if we can get those kind of things, our veterans would stay in the state of Maryland. Now to bury a spouse with you in one of the five veteran cemeteries in our state cost just under $900. When that person has went through a lot, what you went through, just being at home and waiting for you to come home, that's a lot of stress. As the current bill stands, it does not include dependents of veterans. Lawmakers I talked to said they would like to include that in the future. If this current bill passes, it'll go to effect October 1st. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.